In this tutorial, I'm going to draw the subgraphs of uh, the graph that is uh, four vertices and three edges of the graph which is appearing on the screen there. When you are looking at uh, a subgraph, it is uh, another graph that is formed from a subset of the vertices and edges of uh, the given graph G. So in this case, we are looking at uh, graphs that are formed from uh, subsets of uh, vertices and edges of G. So when you are looking at uh, subsets of uh, the vertices, we can have uh, one vertex, two vertices, three vertices, or four vertices. And then we go on and look where we have one edge, two edges, and then three edges. So in this case, I will start by drawing subgraphs where we have uh, just uh, one vertex, because it will be a subset of uh, the four vertices there. I will draw my graphs in uh, squares. So for the first one, that's the graph there. It is just a one vertex V1. Or the second one, it is one vertex V2. Or the third one, it is one vertex V3. And the next one is one vertex V4. So these are subgraphs where we have uh, only one vertex. I now move on to subgraphs where we have. Uh, two vertices. So we can have uh, one where we have uh, V1 and V2, and then go on to one where we have V1 and V3, and then one where we have uh, V1 and V4, another one where we have uh, V2 and V3, another one where we have uh, V2 and V4, and then uh, and the last one where we have V3 and V4. So we are done with where we have uh, two vertices. We now move on to where we have uh, three vertices. And the subgraph will be one where we have V1, V2, V3, and then another one where we have V1, V2, V4, another one where we have V1, V3, V4, and then the next one where we have V2, V3, and V4. So we are done with uh, possible combinations where we have uh, three vertices. We move on to where we have four vertices. Where we have four vertices, the subgraph will just be the graph with uh, vertices V1, V2, V3, and uh, V4. I now look at uh, possible vertices where we can add one edge. So those possible vertices where we can add one edge, I will indicate it by a green tick there. We can put one edge there. We can also put one edge there. We can put one edge here. 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 We can also put one edge here. So moving on to on the first one where you can put one edge, this one here, where I have uh, made the tick a bit bigger, we are putting an edge between V1 and V2. So the subgraph there would have the vertices V1, V2, and an edge. And then move on to the next where you can put one edge, this one here. We can put one edge between V1 and V3. So we have two vertices V1, V3, then an edge. Then we move on to the next one, where we have uh, this one here. We can put an edge between V1 and V4, so it will give us uh, a graph with uh, two vertices, V1 and V4, then an edge. We can then move on to the next one, this one. We can put one edge. We can have a graph with the vertices of V1, V2, V3, then an edge. We can also have another one there for these three vertices where we have uh, an edge between V1 and V3. So the other one is three vertices, V1, V2, V3, then an edge between V1 and V3. We can move on to the next one where we can uh, put uh, a single edge there. We can put an edge between V1 and V2. So we have that graph there, V1 and V2 is an edge. Then we can also have those three vertices, but have an edge between V1 and V4 that graph there. And then we move on to the next one here. We can put an edge between 
v1 and v3 so we have v1 and v3 there is an edge then a vertex v4 and then we can have another graph still for these same vertices where we have an edge between v1 and v4 but including that vertex v3 so we have that subgraph and then we move on to the next one and this one we can put a one edge between v1 and v2 so we have those four vertices and then one edge between v1 and v2 or we can have um, those uh, four vertices and an edge between v1 and um, v3 or we can have those four vertices then we can have an edge between v1 and v4 i now move on to the next part where we are looking at vertices where we can put uh, two edges so here we can put two edges here also we can put two edges here we can put uh, two edges and here as well we can put two edges so i'll start with uh, the first one here two edges for that one we can have edges between v1 and v2 then edge between v1 and v3 so the subgraph would be that one with two edges and then the next one we are looking at uh, uh, the one with uh, the vertices v1 v2 and v4 and draw two edges so the two edges will be the edges between v1 and v2 and the edge between v1 and v4 i will then go on and look at uh, vertices where we have v1 v3 and v4 and put two edges here so the two edges will be between v1 and v3 and between v1 and v4 and then uh, lastly where we have uh, four vertices there we look at combinations where we can put two edges we can have an edge between v1 and v2 and v1 and v3 so that would be the subgraph there with two edges v1 v2 v1 v3 we can also have uh, two edges where we have uh, edges between v1 and v2 and then v1 and v4 that's the subgraph there and for the next one where we have uh, two edges for those uh, four vertices we can have uh, an edge between v1 and v3 then edge between v1 and v4 so that's another subgraph there and then uh, the subgraph uh, on the next one that we are supposed to have is uh, still looking at uh, those four vertices but now looking at uh, three edges so when you have three edges we'll be having an edge between uh, v1 v2 then edge between v1 and v4 then an edge between v1 and v3 so these are all the possible combinations that we can have and in total we are having 34 subgraphs for the given graph which is appearing on the top left hand corner there